Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Kingdom Death's Halloween 2020 order. Ooh. Wait, didn't I do one of these already? I'll get to that in a bit. So, this time we've got three models, a generic and two plastic models with mechanics. Let's start with the generic this time. Normally I do it afterwards, as the bottom of one of the boxes opens <laughs> for me just putting it down. So I literally just got these in, in you know, mid, yeah, box is sticking. And I just wanted to get to, ah, there we go, that was stuck. Ooh, what the hell? Huh, I wonder if this said was a different kind of plastic, but it is, and you'll see it in a moment. But this is the Raynor? R-A-Y. A-N-O-R. I don't know. It's a generic model that didn't have, like, a normal subclass type of name, so it might be a specific character for once. Again, I'd really like to see something done with these rather than them just being art models, but that's a different story. And that's also beyond the fact that one of them has something done with it. It's a single space model, as per usual. And here's her small art card. Very stern look on her face. And here is her large art card. I fell in love with the armor on this one. I, I love, you know, honestly, I love metallic kind of things, but armor is always a nice thing. Uh, I'm not a big fan of boot plate, but it still can look nice. It's just, unless it's to just look nice, please don't. Um, like, it's one of the big reasons I really like playing a tank in Final Fantasy, because when I wear full plate, it's minimal boob plate. If at all. Alright, so... Yeah, um... That's definitely a different color. It's actually a creamy white. It's not the normal resin, but it's definitely printed almost like the normal resin. It doesn't look like it's got as much regular stuff on it, but it's definitely more detailed pieces by the looks of it and everything. Um, I don't know. Usually they say something like that, but I also have the time I just ordered this stuff blindly. So, she is eight pieces, not counting her base. One of which is a tiny piece of hair. So, yeah, that, that middle piece is, a am guessing, a piece of hair. So, a lantern with her hand and her head and all of her hair. I hate when they do small pieces of hair. I just finished the Brewfest model, the larger model that's paired with a normal size model from last year's Halloween. And, yeah, there, there's, like, a lock of hair that goes here, and then I think another one up here. It was just like, ow. Oh. Still not as bad as the white speaker, though. Uh, then we've got her back side of her cloak, which has a full detail feathering underneath. The front side of her cloak and her leg that is separate... The full detail is not there on the front side, and you can see instantaneously why once I hold up the body. Yeah, so it goes right on. But it also, here's the sword and everything, which is a katana-like sword with a Zweihander-like cross guard? I don't know. Fantasy made up stuff doesn't have to be practical like food plates. All right, so that's all of that. Next, we move on to the stuff with game mechanics. So, I've opened this before. In fact, this is from last year. I've got the resin one sitting over there. I didn't know last year that they did the same thing that they did with the Twilight Bunny, which is also an example of me just buying stuff rather than reading the full detail because I bought that one out of a friend wanted it around to be able to look at it because she wanted to cosplay it at some point. And... I didn't realize it started coming with game mechanics or that it was a plastic version. I didn't realize they did this last year until somebody made a random comment on one of the Facebook groups about being able to tell it to look at the gear card. I was like, it doesn't have gear. I'm like, yeah, it does. When searching and realized, yeah, this whole thing. So, yeah, usual plastic box kind of thing. Opens up. Or the newer white boxes, I should say. And the one red box that I mentioned earlier. Art card think it's exactly the same. So I'll be encouraged to paint these two actually differently, but I'll worry about that later. 
got the model. It's on a sprue, like all the plastics, unlike the resins, which are on sprue-like things at best, like you saw there with the previous model. It's got its own base topper, but it's still just a one-space model now. I think it was a four-space before. That would be very nice if that's a change. Um, but here she is in her entirety. It's the same sculpt, clearly with lesser details and such, because the plastic models always lose detail. But she's just all over the place with her parts. I love the cloak on this and everything. Like, it's better on the box. This thing just looks gorgeous. This was definitely one of the models that was just like, well, I'm going to start buying art models now. Also, Halloween. Spooky, spooky. I love it. I love the spook aesthetics, in case you can't tell from most of the plushies back there. Or Kingdom Death or shirts like this. It's so ain't a food at all. All right, but mechanic stuff. It is another craftable card, which is what a lot of these have been adding lately. I have not actually yet been able to use the craftable system. I just haven't gotten much of a chance to play the game, even before Plague. And it is the Black Ghost Dagger. It has four stats. It is a three speed, seven plus hit, two strength, and one black? Huh. And then we got its craftable card which is number 10. Looks like it's a combination using the Dung Beetle Knight and Slender Man, which kind of makes sense with the Black Ghost stuff. Oh, and gains sharp when attacking pumpkin monsters? Oh, and the one is a note on the back. That's interesting. This gains plus 10 strength when attacking monsters with 10 plus toughness. That's ridiculous. Requires Nightmare Corn, Heat, a survivor with 10 plus insanity, Hovel, Survivor with Blotted Out, and three Dark Waters and two Iron. I do really like these. I like that they have a whole story on them and everything. If people would like me to go over this kind of stuff in more detail, or my thoughts on the item itself, feel free to ask. I might get to that sooner than later. Otherwise, this stuff ain't happening until I'm done with all 12 expansions. I'm still working on the core game. Regardless. On to the last model, which, like I said, opened up on its own, but yeah, at the bottom, and I prefer opening these from the top. Spooky, spooky. Uh, is that on the back of both? No. It's just on the back of this, and it, I'm guessing this isn't a monster, but it might be. Uh, regardless, it's the Ringtail Fox with a Halloween version. Uh, very music-based. Um, her usual metal bat-like thing, which is more like an Oni. She doesn't actually have the ears, they're the headphones, wearing the skimpy outfit as per usual, which is the kind of reason I put the warnings at the beginning of my video. Although this still isn't as bad as the Satan Santa. Uh, but, mmm, dies. Again, Kingdom Death. You either don't care about this kind of stuff, or this is the reason you get it, and I'm both. Bit of column A, bit of column A. Still only so far one model that's bothered me, and it's not the Forge God. Alright, so, ooh, this is pretty thick. Is there just a piece of cardboard in there? Looks like it, but it's all the cards and stuff. Lots of pieces. Looks like they uh, separated the small miniature and the large miniature this time. Alright, so, let's get to the miniature first. Well, no, let's, let's show off the art card, even though it's probably the same exact image. So... Yeah, for once an actual sealed bag, not like, you know, Ziploc kind of bag like most of them. Although that is what they normally do with the cards, is um, vacuum sealed or close to that card or stuff. Yep, just a piece of cardboard. I appreciate that, actually. So, here's the art card. Same exact image, just zoomed in a little, unlike a lot, which is what most of them do. And then we've got two more craftable items. We've got specifically... The Vixen Tail and the Brazen Bat. Oh, by the way, for those of whom that ordered the earlier kind of stuff like this, the, with the craftable cards, they will send a replacement. I got mine a long time ago. I just never opened the crafting stuff and remembered to say it. Or I did, and I forgot that. Regardless, they will send replacements. So, the Vixen Tail is a bushy tail heightens your awareness. If you are insane, you cannot be ambushed. Interesting. Also doesn't take up, like, a body slot or anything like that. It is flammable, though. Uh, the Brazen Bat is a speed 2, 
Um, hits on five pluses and it's a strength six. Also games sharp when attacking pumpkin monsters. Are they going to start putting on Halloween monsters? Like, I would love that, but also, like, do that more often then. If you're not wearing any head armor, you feel a spirit of rebellion. You may ignore the first reaction during your first attack each round. That's not bad. Especially if you're not playing a surge build. It's also not slow like you would think it is with a, being a giant metal bat. Hmm, that's interesting. One of these specifically has under it the for the crafting card itself. Also, there's two number 11s. No, last I, for a second there I thought the dagger that I just showed off was number 11. It's 10. But as I was saying, one of them has insight, the other one has insight and ringtail vixen at the top. Hmm, interesting. But... The tail takes a leather and a scrap, and you need to have... Oh, that's why. It takes the Ringtail Vixen White Box model, because it's Infinite Drift, which is where that comes from. Um, even has a little bookmark tag on it, because that is a actual bookmark. Uh, requires a crab spider and a monster grease. So that's actually relatively easy to make. It's just you have to fail in an intimacy. And also roll the 50-50 after your first time using it to have it in a campaign. I've actually used it once. It's one of the few new things I managed to use. I, I My friends didn't even know about it. We just failed an intimacy early on. I went, hey, do you want to use a new mechanic? I had no idea in detail what it did. More importantly, they had literally no idea what it did. Uh, and the bat requires a two mom, a dry dark canthus, a scrap, rhythm, uh, somebody with rhythm chaser, and scrap spelting. Wow, that's relatively easy for what that does. But... That's all the cards. So, on to the miniatures. Plural, because these larger box holiday models are plural. Uh, I've put two of the bigger ones together, I have yet to put any of the smaller ones together, and I've painted the Brewfest Eye. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do any of the big ones anytime soon again, at least painting-wise. Um, I still have to learn proper ink wash shading on large bits of flesh or smooth areas, but otherwise it's just... they're 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 aesthetic pieces, like purely aesthetic. I can't even use them as replacements for things. Um, so unless I'm really in the mood or you guys really want to see them as an ask, I'm not going to do them anytime soon. So unlike the others where they're on the same sprue, because here's the Easter Aya for an example real quick. I keep it right over there with my other painting stuff because that is the next one I'm going to work on if I do one of them myself. Um, but holy crap pieces there there are just pieces all over the place of this thing and this is probably entirely just a small model now i have to say i love this right here the swing effect that is with the bat i am going to want to assemble that relatively soon it has its own base topper but it looks like it's either there are pieces here that plug into it otherwise it's just a blank one with stubs to make sure that the uh, make sure the model goes in right I'd rather have that and then for the larger one so many pieces like almost as many as the other one but they're all larger and there's the base topper and everything uh boy like there's her hair again breasts different piece at least it's not just the boobs one of the pumpkins is full of the stone faces. Uh, again, there's a bunch of speakers and everything. It's a lot of musician base. And yeah, like her face is all the way over here. And it's literally just her face. Like the back side of her head is here. And that's literally like this part of the head. Like that, that amount of thickness. But yeah. All right. That's everything this time around. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press that like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, feel free to share this video. Either way, I'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press that dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as, would you like to see any of this or any other models you've seen me do unboxings for for this game or others painted? Or if you'd like to hear me go into more detail or just want to give encouragement to get that hunt video done already for the detailed overviews of the board game. And if you'd like to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overviews, 
my painting videos, all three of which I do for Kingdom Death, or anything else that I might do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.